Hello, Dr. Joe here. There is an age-old saying in medicine that goes along the lines of if you subject a bone to regular moderate intensity impact or stress, you increase that bone's density. When you increase a bone's density, you reduce the likelihood of that bone breaking in future. So you're more or less fracture-proofing that very bone. Now, if you are over the age of 50, I've got something special for you. You want to pay attention to what I'm about to say in this very video because I'm about to share with you a unique exercise that will take you just about seven minutes or thereabout to perform. And when you do this exercise on a regular basis, you are more or less fracture proofing your bone, uh, in particular the femoral bone, from breaking in future. Now, before we go into the details of uh, this very exercise, I want to share with you the anatomy of this uh, very bone and then you can see what I'm talking about. So let's have a look at the anatomy of this very bone in the first place and then I'll share with you this very exercise that will help you to prevent osteoporosis and uh, if you got osteoporosis already, you can actually reverse osteoporosis uh, by doing this very exercise. So uh, let's have a look at the anatomy of this very bone first of all. Okay, okay so, so what you're looking at here now is the hip joint. This is the hip joint. And uh, this area here, that is the head of the femur. Uh, it fits into the socket, uh, what we call the acetabulum. It fits in there. And uh, this bit here, uh, what we call the trochanters, okay? This bit is the trochanter. So this is the lesser trochanter, and that is the greater trochanter. The trochanters constitute the top of the shaft of the femur. So now of importance to us is this very bit here. This is the neck of the femur. So the neck of the femur uh, is the bridge between the head of the femur and the shaft of the femur. And you have to agree with me that looking at the shape of this uh, neck of the femur, you, you will agree that it is the, the bit that looks quite vulnerable, you know, when you stand, uh, when you run, uh, when you walk, uh, anything you're doing with this joint. This is the bit, the neck of the femur is the bit that is going to take a lot of the strain. And taking a lot of the strain means it is more vulnerable to being uh, fractured. Now, uh, when it fractures, this is what happens. What you're looking at now is a fracture of the neck of the femur. And this is what we are trying to prevent uh, in future when we get older by building the bone density. Okay, We want a very nice bone density such that uh, the neck of the femur can take the strain easily, even in our old age. Okay, so now let's talk about the exercise that is going to carry us to achieve this very objective of increasing the density of the femoral bone uh, so it doesn't break in future. Well, the exercise that is backed by research is hopping, okay? Uh, leg hopping or hip hopping, if you like. Now, uh, you're going to be doing 50 hops a day. And you may say, well, I cannot do 50 in one go. Well, the way to do it is you do 10 hops per set and you do five sets. So 10 hops per set with a little break in between. Break of about two minutes, rest, and then do another 10. Uh, a little break of a minute or two, do another 10. Uh, and then another break and then another 10. So and so on and so forth. A total of 50 hops you're going to do per day. So uh, let me show you uh, what I mean by the hopping. Okay, so that's me there hopping on my right leg. You've got to do 10 hops at a time per set, five sets, that's 50 hops a day. And uh, I was hopping on my right leg. Now I am hopping on my left leg. You've got to make sure that you hop on the two legs such that one leg is not disadvantaged. Now, the other thing that is important is to hop in different directions. That way, you transmit the pressure to the bone in a 360 degrees manner. 
So very, very important to do that. Hop in different directions. Now, for those of you who might feel unsteady on your feet when you hop, then use some support. And that is what I'm trying to demonstrate there using the park bench to provide support uh, with me doing the hopping there. You can use anything, uh, a chair, uh, a wall, anything that is available to provide support for yourself. That way you don't uh, fall over. So you are probably looking at that and thinking, well, I cannot do 50 hops a day. I understand, do not despair because I've got a very nice plan for you. And the plan is that if you don't think you can do the 50 hops a day, you start off small. So you're gonna start off with three hops, but you're gonna do the five sets. So that's a total of 15 hops. And you do that daily for two weeks. And then you step up your game uh, after two weeks to doing about five hops uh, per set. And you're gonna do uh, five sets. So that's 25 hops a day. Uh, do that for four weeks, do that for four weeks. And then after that, you step up your game again to uh, seven hops uh, per set. And that means you're gonna be doing 35 hops a day. Uh, you do that for another four weeks. And by then, hopefully by then, you should have built up that cardiovascular endurance uh, during which time you can now step up to 10 hops per set. Uh, and then you'll be doing the 50 hops a day. So that is the plan. You start off small and we gradually build up our cardiovascular endurance. And before you know it, uh, we will be uh, uh, doing the 50 hops without uh, breaking a sweat. Okay, folks, it's time for us to rise up to the challenge. Let's start hopping to protect our bones from breaking in future. Now, if you know anyone who is over 50 years of age, I will appreciate it if you share this video with them because we all need to do this very simple exercise to protect our bones. Now, if you got some value from this very video, please go ahead, give the video a thumbs up, please like the video, and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. Uh, if you got any questions, any comments regarding the content of this video presentation, go ahead, leave your comments or questions down below. I think that's about it for this very video. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.